Hey, how's it going, boys? What is up? So, it's back once again for yet another character impression. This time, we have the very disappointing Luo because everyone just won't shut up about how disappointing he is. I haven't uploaded for almost two weeks now, so that's cool. But hi, I'm still alive for anyone's wondering on YouTube. I am still alive and kicking. I've just been playing a lot of other games. Or more like I've just been playing games in a nutshell and streaming a lot. So, uh, if you're wondering why. I don't really put in I uh, put up stuff on YouTube. You just have to come on my Twitch because I'm on on live almost every single day. Yes. So we have Luo, this long-awaited disappointment. We have 50 she has she. I mean he has 1590 HP, 57, 60 attack, light, his uh, Arun, melee and staff. All right. So his Ogi is uh, flashpoint trajectory. Massive flight damage to a foe when a uh, what? How do you pronounce that? A a real a real a real of life is in effect. Bonus plane damage. Cool. Prayer of imminent light. Prayer of imminent light effect to light allies with at least forty percent HP. What? Radiant spear throw. Six hit light damage to a foe. Hit to attack stackable. Hit to special attack damage. Stackable can be removed. When uh, a real of life is in effect, auto activates upon normal attacks. Sounds cool, I guess. Alright, so this is the one. The field is illuminated by the thing. The white light field. False attack is boosted. Light allies HP is restored every turn. So it's kind of like Fidel in a way, you have to press that. If you're on a full auto, I suppose. Uh, Luminous Compassion. When uh, Aureus of Light is in effect, uh, boost to light allies. Debuff resistance, multi attack rate, and CA specs. Hmm. Limitless white. Remove a buff from all foes upon activated Fated Chain. Wow. That's probably one of the worst ones I've seen. <laughs> yeah. The Fatal Chain effect is fucking shit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That is really that's really shit. Wow. I mean, I was I, I was kind of thinking it might be a, you know, okay. <laughs> All right, this is the shit one, right? Everyone's been saying, uh, complaining about this. All right, so it's a gun, right? Wait, no, that's a fist. It looks like a gun too, in a way. It heals. Golden vitality is boost to light allies attack defense damage cap based on their max HP. Small boost to light allies attack and HP. So it's a copy of Wemdus. So what? You need seventy k HP for this too. Yeah, so it's literally identical to Wemdu's weapon. So I'm assuming you need at least two of these. Or you want three of these to make it work. And then you need a total of 70k HP. Because if I recall correctly, you need 70k HP to make it work on Wemdu's weapon. I mean... I mean, if Lugan wasn't around, then... You could technically use this. You see... He, he, here's the thing, okay? This this one is fine. I honestly think this weapon is okay. The only problem with this is that the reason why this is actually shit is that if you don't you only need this type of weapon, right? You only need this type of weapon if the the element has really shit potential when it comes to burst uh capabilities, right? But this is light we are talking about. <laughs> the grid is fine for light. The grid was never a problem for light. And we have the characters already that, that can literally one shot a lot of shit. <laughs> we can one shot a lot of shit with light with uh, a specific stupid character setups. Yes. If you ignore that altogether, then yeah, I guess you can make this weapon work. But if you're, if you know. <laughs> If you got the character or you're planning to get the character soon, I don't see why you want to get this. <laughs> yes, for anyone's wondering, yes. Flo uh, fl we, we call it Flugan for anyone's wondering. It's kind of like a thing now because you don't really do or you or use anything in light other than Flugan setups these days because, you know, literally Flugan works every fucking where except for, I don't know, what was the new fucking raid thing? <laughs> That boss is the only thing that literally counters that. But it's not like you really need a weapon, do you? So wait, if you're a magna, you probably do, but oh well. <laughs> it's you need really just Halloween flu uh Florence and uh Mugen. 
And of course, you need Nehan as well, obviously. Nehan is probably another cure character to have in that particular setup, too. <laughs> the the other important thing that you probably need in uh, light is really not this weapon. You need Harmonious. <laughs> Harmonious is more important, aka Uni's weapon. Yeah. And where is that? That's in Flash. <laughs> In other words, Lake Fest is uh, pointless, lol. <laughs> All the good stuff is in Flash, not in Lake Fest, unfortunately. <laughs> TLDR, this weapon is actually okay and it's quite nice to have too if you're not running a Flugan, right? If you do not have Flugan in your setup, if you do not have that character and then you somehow want to go for this which requires at least two to three of these weapons by the way <laughs> and you can if you can put in a lot uh, feed in a lot of your hate the, the stuff in your grid to get the hp then yeah you'll be it'll work else is you can just technically use back the same old shit that we had in the past and just ignore this altogether. Yes, you can do that too. So this is, uh, it's good if Flugan doesn't exist but unfortunately it does so <laughs> Unless, who knows, in like a near distant future when uh, more stuff comes out and most likely they are just going to put that as like a, any form of like light uh, favorite or whatever is probably going to be hard counted with, uh, with, those, with those two characters, right? When it's like, think of it this way, it's like the, this is like the same thing when uh, Summer Zoe came out, okay? When Summer Zoe came out, Every single raid that uh, appeared after that has always been like, okay, the way they, they designed the raids has always been a counter to Summer Zoe in some way. It has been always like that. You know? <laughs> Unfortunately, it's like that. Whenever they try to make a new raid, right? Or at least dark favorite raids, they always make it that it's a little bit tougher when it comes to like having Zoe in the in the in the raid, they always try to do something like that. So now, now that we have uh, Flugan and shit, everything that is probably in like in the near future for Light Favorite is gonna be hard countered, in a way. So like whenever there's a new boss for Light Favorite stuff, maybe in an upcoming Guild War, Flugan is gonna be shit. <laughs> I don't know. They probably might do that. So that's why. So it, it, it's kind of funny that they, they tend to do that. It's like when they could have just literally just... If, if they think this kind of shit ruins the damn thing in the first place, they could have just nerfed the character from the start. I do not know why when they made the character so fucking strong, right? <laughs> it's so it, it's so weird and, and, and meme at the same time the way they, they, they do this kind of shit, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. And it really doesn't help that the characters are also on Halloween, which only comes by like twice a year. I mean, then again, every single uh, seasonal, you know, seasonal, like summer or whatever, they, they all only come twice a year anyway these days, right? Without further ado, let me go check their numbers. Plane damage is uh, 3 million. Hmm. Okay. And then uh, this one is... Boost to attack and critical rate, revitalize skin effect, can be removed. Ends when HP drops below 40%. I do like this though. I actually do like the way this thing works though, to be honest. I feel like this is this is a lot better than the, you know, those skills that requires you to only goes away when it goes in like uh, two hits or some shit, right? I prefer this kind of mechanic more, you know? Because you know nowadays we are we have like a lot of HP and shit, so this is not really a problem per se. I feel like the two hits is more of a problem, you know. Uh, Radiant Spear throw is uh, six hits, so it's hundred and eight thousand per hit base cap. That seems pretty good though. Like, I mean, the auto activates upon normal attacks as well, so that's pretty sick. So stackable, stackable, uh, this is 10% up to 40%, this is 6% up to 30%, yeah it's pretty nice, he auto activates on normal attacks, 
So it's like, it's like the same as Fidel. He's very similar to the likes of Fidel actually. His, his skill set is actually very similar to Fidel. It's just only that his, his fucking fated chain is ass. <laughs> Where where Fidel actually can re, re, like all, like reset her shit instead. Oh, the cooldown is sixteen turns and six turns. Okay, when Aureus of Life is in effect, this one is both to light. Fifty percent boost to light allies debuff resistance. Hundred percent double attack and thirty percent triple attack. Hundred percent CA damage and fifty percent CA cap. The field effect also has thirty percent attack to all foes. Restore ten percent HP to all allies. Healing cap is one thousand. So 1000 healing cap or region refresh whatever. And as for this, we get 50% attack up, normal mod. Wait, why normal mod? 100% chance to get 30% extra damage crit, revitalize effect. Revitalize gets 10, 1, 1k heal as well. And then keen. So I guess Keen is all the same. I feel like his only really good thing that is that he can heal a lot and he can nuke really well, I guess, because this is kind of like Fidel's. Isn't it 100% identical to Fidel though? Isn't Fidel like around 6 hits or some shit too? Is the base cat the same too? I don't remember actually. No, it's not the same. <laughs> her second skill for Fidel, right? Her base cap is actually lower by, uh, than Luo. But you know, it's only lower by... 3,000. <laughs> In other words, it makes no difference whatsoever. <laughs> Fidel's is 105k per hit. Luo is 108k per hit. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, for the most part, he's okay. You, I feel like, yeah. The reason why people are shitting on him is the fact that Flugan is a, is a thing. Once again, it's like, if Lugan doesn't exist, it's actually, it's actually nice to have this guy. But uh, one thing I didn't really understand is like, why is his Fatal Chain so ass though? You know, this... Okay, put it this way. This would make more sense if instead of one dis like one buff, if this was all the buffs, I mean all buffs, it's like if it's a full dispel, it makes more sense. <laughs> Or at least, you know, like Babu or some shit, triple dispel. You know? At least that, man. Come on, man. You could at least get that. <laughs> I feel like that would make more sense for him. But shit, dude. Yeah, unfortunately, it's a little bit... He, he He's definitely on the worst side just because that... Uh, his feel effect makes it a lot worse for... Well, everyone. <laughs> because... You are increasing only their attack, the opponent's attack. So in other words, you're decreasing your defense in a way. You're decreasing your own defense and you just get a lot of heal out of that and then you get like some sort of debuff here and there but like it's kind of whatever. Because end of the day, no matter how much you stack your attack down or whatever shit, there's always a cap. I mean, yeah, this is cool and all, but eh. End of the day, this doesn't really help a lot if the guy is just gonna triple attack your ass off anyway. This debuff is only gonna be good if the whatever target doesn't triple attack non-stop. When these days, <laughs> these days, whatever bosses that we have right now, right? Whatever, like, uh, be it like Guild War bosses or whatever, the bosses tend to always triple attack. Multi-attack is a very, very normal thing for bosses these days, especially like the higher end ones. So like, this doesn't really do anything. Because, yeah, think of it this way, okay? Let, just do a like, a little like, my math is shit, okay? So let's just do like a really, really, uh, a very, very simple scenario. Think of it this way, right? So let's say you have no form of multi-attack down, okay? No form of multi-attack. The boss is going to triple attack. Let's say he hits you for 10k. This reduces it maybe like uh, more or less like maybe uh, especially if you're if you're having this as well, right? Let's just say you manage to you can only reduce it to like 2,000. 
you're only reducing it to two th- uh, by 2,000 uh, attack. The boss attacks for 10,000. So in other words, he's attacking for 8k, right? But he triples attack your ass. So that's 8 times 3. So that means he's still hitting you for 24,000 per hit for, per turn. When, right? When, if you say you compare to the likes of Fidel, the reason why Fidel is still strong until to this day is the reason why is because she is reducing triple uh, multi attack down. Right? She's reducing multi attack down. So let's say the boss still hits you for 10k, but the boss are forced to single attacks because of the debuffs like this on her with what she can do. So in other words, you're only getting 10,000 damage per turn rather than triple attacking the boss triple attacking you're forcing the boss to single attack okay even if you don't reduce the attack damage or whatever you're still only taking 10,000 damage per hit and you're only getting it one hit right you see what I'm getting to rather than getting hit by whatever I mentioned earlier right you're getting 24,000 damage versus 10,000 damage so which one you want (laughs) You see what I mean? Yeah, so that's why if you compare if you compare Luo to like the likes of Fidel, he's he's actually quite he's actually quite weak in that regard, if you think about it. Because he is making the boss the other bosses stronger. And like the only thing he can really do is just really reduce this really, because this gets removed. <laughs> If you think about it, this technically can get removed, so that's kind of what- The only thing that stays is just this, really. Right? But to be fair, this is actually quite easy to stack it up again, but still. <laughs> the, 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 the thing is, like... The only really good thing about this guy, I feel like, is really just his... Uh, it's just this thing. But unfortunately, for some reason that adds... Oh, it's a normal mod, I... Don't understand why is that a normal mod either, but you know. (laughs) When uh, I feel like, yeah, because you know, I feel like I have to compare this character with Fidel, you know, just because, you know, they're so identical, right? The way that their skills work is literally almost identical. You know what I mean? His first skill is like hers as well, where you actually, you know, like bubble yourself up in a way kind of shit, right? Same thing as Fidel. Then then this as well. Debuff and then at the auto cuts on autos. Same goes for Fidel. Third skill, field effect. Same thing as Fidel. Right? Everything is the same as Fidel. But I feel like Fidel just does does everything I don't know, ten times better probably. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I just feel like in the for the most part, just Fidel just outright shits on Luo though, that's a problem. Because you see all this? Like even though you're buffing See, even though you're buffing the boss, but you're also debuffing it in a way. You know what I mean? <laughs> see? You're debuffing it, but you're you're also you're buffing and debuffing at the same time. All foes and allies' defense are lowered, but, okay, but, when Malice of Despair is in effect, sharp boost to defense. So she's actually negating this, this, this downside very heavily, in fact, because this is minus 25%, if I recall correctly. This field effect is minus 25% defense, when her defense is actually increasing by 100% to everyone. So in other words, you're getting 75% extra defense in a way. Because you're already negating the 25% from this. So, uh... How is that a downside, right? (laughs) And the other thing is that... You have to remember, this is a field effect that lasts forever as well. And, uh... You have a free debuff that lasts forever. I mean, yeah, this take damage every turn is a problem, but then again, you can kind of negate it with a certain leech character. <laughs> you know? Which which is technically like a must-have, right? So I'm pretty sure by now, if, if you haven't gotten leech yet, you probably want to get leech first before Fidel, so you see what I mean, right? 
But yeah, so... You see, everything about her just works outright better. So yeah, this one kind of sucks because it's not, it doesn't last forever. But like I said, even on Luo as well, it's quite easy to actually get this stacked up. You know, it's actually quite easy. And, and not to mention, if you're actually doing it on a V2, she can fucking reset her skill cooldown. So that's why she's just, you're just going to reset this not all the time. I mean, she has like a 10,000 barrier and uh, you, you cannot get debuff and dispel cancel with this. Yeah, this ends upon taking two, uh, hit twice, but you can negate it with this. <laughs> And then, yeah, her, instead of plane damage, you get auto activate Ogi twice. So, in other words, you can, act, if you compare to, to uh, Luo, instead of uh, 3 million, you can do extra, I don't know, 6 million or something. <laughs> right? <laughs> because she, I mean, the only downside about the Fidel is that her animation takes fucking forever. Because, you know, she Ogis twice, right? This one is just a plane damage thing. So instead of 3, 000, 3 million plane damage, Fidel does extra, I don't know, 5-6 million extra damage. Because she can Ogi twice, right? But yeah, like overall, I just feel like, in comparison to Fidel, Fidel just shits on the war really, really hard though. But I don't think he's a bad character in a way. I just think that he's just a bad character just because of Flugan. Flugan really pulls down his rating really, really hard. That's the problem. If Flugan did not exist, this guy would be a lot better, in a lot better spot, I would say. And maybe, you know, this this one's pretty shit though. I feel like maybe if Light L, uh, like the f if this applies to you as well, it would be a lot better. You know what I mean? I feel like this this is uh Really, really shit too, in a way. But yeah, I guess uh, Light is play paying a massive, massive tax, all thanks to Flugan now. But uh, what can you do? Alright, before I end uh, the thing, I have not seen his uh, his EMP. Flashbang. He has 1 CA cap, 2 skill cap, 2 light attack. What does that look like? Literally like Fidel as well. Actually, almost identical. <laughs> Actually almost identical. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> it's actually almost identical. The reason why is because Fidel has two CA cap and one skills cap. While Luo has two skill cap and one CA cap. The only difference with uh, Fidel is that Fidel doesn't have uh, elemental attack up. You see, you see this, is, this is such a problem. It's like, they made it so similar to Fidel, but Fidel just is just outright superior in every way though. But I guess in a way, if you think about it, his, his EMP is a little bit better because, you know, skill cap is more important than CA cap to be honest. And he has raw attack up, which is great, where Fidel technically doesn't have. So yeah, I do think that in a way his EMP is better. But at the same time, everything else is just... I don't know, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to say, you know. It's just pretty... I, I, it's just it's just a really, really unfortunate event for him, you know. He, he, it's like he has such a big tax to pay. I guess you just max out this. This 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But the problem is that uh, you probably want healing as well too, because... Uh, he heals a lot. So you'll be taking up all these. So that's all of it. And then he actually needs defense as well. Wow. <laughs> so, one of the things that you really need, right, if you really want to use him, is that you need to roll either a defense ring or you go for a defense awakening. Because you definitely need defense. You need some form of defense if you're using him because of his field effect. Because his field effect is going to hurt in the long run. He needs a lot of defense. <laughs> but the only problem is that even if you roll defense, right, it only applies to himself while well, everyone else is, there, is dying slowly. <laughs> so you need another character. So we, we... What Light needs, okay? What Light needs right now, I'm not sure who is that going to be or maybe we already have it, is that a character that gives a huge defense in to counteract what this guy is doing. But the, the characters that we have 
you know, that is really just solely focused on defense, the only good one I can think of is Vera. When it comes to just full on defense, I feel like Vera is the only one that really falls on, under that category. Because Vera doesn't take damage for like a specific amount of turns. And she has full uh full all allies up too, if I recall correctly. That's 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 his 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 main issue right now. I'm not sure if there's any other character that is upcoming that really pairs very well with him. So to be fair, if you're comparing with Fidel again, if you think about it, Fidel has a really good friend called Leech, right? So we we have to wait and see whether if there's a newer character that really pairs very well with this guy. Right? Because I guess that right now Luo is probably better off just pairing with uh Vera for now. But I'm not sure who else is good. Who's the next character going to be for Light, I suppose? I don't know. We'll see. Maybe a summer character. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, when it comes to like a Light, the thing is Light has a lot of uh, characters that does really well when it comes to healing as well too. So technically, you don't really need this guy. <laughs> yeah. You don't really need this guy when it comes to healing. I mean, yeah, like once again, if you really need the healing character, Tico is really great for that. Or even Uni. Tico is really good. The the OG Tico, not 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 the the seasonal one. Seasonal one is on Earth, and I even think the the Earth seasonal one was actually worse. I feel like the the OG light version is actually better. I do not have him, unfortunately, to actually test and fuck around a little a little bit. But uh, yeah, anyways, I guess that's pretty much all I can say about this guy. Pretty unfortunate that Light has a lot of taxes to pay now. All thanks to Flugan. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, we'll see you guys in God knows when I'm going to put out a new video. Probably tomorrow because it's already March. <laughs> At this time of the recording, it's already March. So we're going to have... Co wait, no. We wait, wait, no. There's nothing tomorrow. Korega is on this weekend, technically. Because this weekend is the... Uh, the uh, anniversary stream. <laughs> so yeah, I think we're only going to see something in this weekend. Uh, other than that, you won't see me on YouTube for a while. But that's it. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.